Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to 25 common misconceptions about the United States that are simply not true. And so I moved to America about four years ago in end of January 2020 and we are end of January 2024. And so I've been here for four years now. And I used to think things about America that I found not to be true, but I'm curious to see what they have in this video. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment, or see next, and subscribe for more content. Let's get into it. The United States often draws a lot of flack from the rest of the world for everything. From its foreign policy to the way it runs its domestic affairs. In fact, it seems like there are few things that can divide the world more evenly and more strongly than asking people what their opinion is of the United States. Yep. Everyone has an opinion. Mm. Even in the same city, you'll meet people who fall on the extreme sides of the spectrum. But what is it exactly that causes America to be so messed up? Even America's own politicians can't seem to stop talking about how messed up things are. Well, today we're going to take a deeper look. Are things really as bad as everyone seems to think they are? I'm Mike with this 25 and these are 25 common misconceptions about the United States that simply aren't true. And as a very important note, this list was produced by both a United States citizen and two European citizens that relocated okay. to the United States. It's written to be as fair as possible. No, no. that I'm not I'm not two Europeans. <laughs> or am I? No, not. All right, <laughs> let's begin with a really common thought. Americans are ignorant about the world. Americans are held to an unrealistic standard. That is true. That is not a misconception. All you have to do is go to YouTube and look up street interviews. American geography is the worst that I've seen. Standard. Since the rest of the world watch our movies and listen to our music, they know a lot about our country. Mm -hmm. but let's be honest. They never studied it. People actually complain that Americans don't even know that Czechoslovakia doesn't exist anymore. But neither does half the United Kingdom, and they're on the same continent. It turns out that all of us are pretty bad at geography. No, nope. but America goes to even worse than anybody else when it comes to geography. That is true. That is not a misconception. That is reality. You'd think America would be better at it. However, considering another common thought is that America spends its day spying on everyone. And that's true. But who doesn't? Germany, France, Switzerland, Japan, Iceland, and all the rest of us spy on each other and ourselves. Moving on, America has been called racist. Please don't take this the wrong way. Racism definitely exists. And it mm -hmm. makes the news. But you know what else? America also has a vicious media, and all of the world watches it, sometimes more than their own media. So when something super bad happens in other countries, it might not even make the back page. Next, it's a common misconception. Yeah, when it comes to racism, it's like you have to come to terms with one thing. Most of the world is racist. Just either you, you, you try to fight it, or you live with it. Yeah, it is what it is. Conception. Hell, I have myself say some racist things about some Asians and things like that. That Americans don't use public transport. Even against white people. While it's true that we use cars a lot, many regions in America have great public transport. Or at least just as good as Europe. Besides, what good is a train if nobody can afford it? We're looking at you, UK. Oh. Moving on. America does slash has slash is fill in the blank. America is far from being a unified entity. Each state has its own laws, cultures, and quirks. Some states have the death penalty. Some don't. Some have strict gun laws. And some don't. Mm. Some have free college. Some don't. Some Wait, do you have free college in America? Damn, I didn't know that have tax and yeah some don't and so why don't people move to those states when you have free college so just like you can't say europe is so and so you can't say the same about the u.s as an additional note the states are far more independent than many of us realize 
In fact, every state even has its own military, known as the Guard. Furthermore, some states pass legislation that directly contradicts the federal government. This is because in the U.S., the federal government is not the highest authority the states are. To further establish the fact that America isn't a single entity, many believe that Americans only speak one language. But that's no different from the rest of the world. Have you ever been to France or the UK or Italy or how about China? Maybe the West. Maybe Western countries all speak one language. But when you go to other, con when you go to other countries in Africa, Asia, probably South Asia and the, Mid the Middle East, they speak one language, Arabic. But when you come to Africa and Asia, especially Southern Asia, within the same country, you can have 20 to 30 languages. I don't even know how many languages are in my country. Most of them only speak one language too. That being said, over 20% of the U.S. is bilingual. Now, let's talk about the military, because people outside the U.S. will preach that America's military does... Again, fill in the blank. Nobody is naive enough to think that the U.S. doesn't have selfish interests in mind when it invades a country. There isn't a nation on earth that would do that selflessly. But whenever the bad goes down, it's just as common for other countries to complain that America should do something. On a more or less lighter note, Americans are fat. Uh, you ever been to the UK lately? There are even scandals because obese patients are getting turned down for surgery. Yes, America does have an obesity problem. But not all citizens are involved in it. I am. A big part of the United States is fairly health conscious and is consistently working to help the overweight population better their lives. Thanks, healthy people. And while we aren't perfect, many complain that America is worse than other developed nations in, well, everything. There are many statistics, child mortality, literacy, etc., where the U.S. falls behind countries like Norway and Iceland. But those statistics are based on averages. In Norway, most of the 5 million inhabitants are rich, white, and Norwegian. If you took a similar sample of rich, white Americans in the U.S., you would find that the statistics are almost exactly the same. The fact is that the U.S. is hugely diverse, and the American experience is completely different with and without money. Mm -hmm. Translation, the problem isn't healthcare or education, it's economic inequality, almost exclusively. And speaking of inequality, many make the simple but powerful assumption that America just isn't safe. This is usually what foreign citizens say until they actually come here. By the same logic, Paris, Brussels, London, Madrid, and almost every other city in Europe is unsafe as well. Yes, there are guns. But most Americans have never seen or heard a gun being fired. In fact, most Swiss citizens are much more familiar with gunfire than us Americans. Quick thing, I have been pointed with a gun to my face twice. Once at work, the second time, road rage is crazy all this being said so far people still expect all americans to relish in the life of our stereotypes guns fast food and freedom what i'm saying is a lot of the world looks at america as overly patriotic but here's an honest question have you ever met a russian australian a proud member of the uk there's no shame in having pride in your country us americans are definitely patriotic but so is the rest of the world as they should be it's not a crime to be proud of where you came from. But that doesn't stop others from thinking we only complain and boast about America whenever we travel abroad. Americans do boast about America when they travel abroad because it is one of the things that people tend to judge America because of American tourists who go to other countries and complain about the country that they travel into. And if you want to complain, just look up the country before you go into there. And so you know what to expect, but they don't do that. They go there and boast about what America has and that countries don't have. This is largely anecdotal. In America, Americans like to complain just like the rest of us. Only a few of them ever even leave the country, so you're meeting an unrepresentative sample. But in their defense, many times, they're right. 
yes, this can hit hard in the pride spot, but maybe Europeans could stand to smile a bit more, right? No? Okay, fine. Back to the apathetic, leave me alone face. By the way, that part was written for our European representative. By our European representative. Okay, I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to do a second part. If you guys want to see the second part, please leave a comment in the comments down below. And until next time.